D16 Z6 uh, stem seal valve stem seal replacement uh, DIY. So this is a quick guide of how to replace your valve stem seals yourself without using any technical tools. You don't need a compressor. Uh, you don't even need a valve um, spring compressor for this job. It's quite simple. What you're first going to do is strip the head off, uh, the rocker cover off. I mean, uh, your valve, your valve rockers and the followers and everything which is currently down here. Uh, cam timing cover which is down there, we'll take that off as well and just take it all out, keep it all together so you know where everything goes. Tools you're going to need, cable ties, standard cable ties, mallet, some water pump pliers or, uh, or some strong vice clamp to clamp things with, a spark plug socket with a magnet. You want a strong magnet, put that inside your your uh, spark plug socket and you're going to want some rope, a string or something like this and what we're going to do is take the spark plugs out, turn it around so the piston is at the bottom so, um, and then feed your rope inside piston going to put quite a bit in there and what this is going to do in a body sh in a garage what they'll do as I would normally use an air compressor but as most of us don't have an air compressor this works very well right I'm going to feed this in there I'll be back in a second right I fed about two meters of rope into the cylinder I tied a knot in it here so I'll know exactly uh, how much length I've put in Right, a quick tip, get some rag and put it in there, here, here and up the back there. That's your oil drain back down to your sump. The last thing you want to do is drop a retainer for your uh, your valve spring down one of those because that would just be a lot of headache. Right, now get a 17mm spanner on a ratchet, put it on your crank down the bottom. Turn. It slowly until you feel it lock and go tight. Give it a little once and then that's it. That's now your, your valves all held up so you're not going to drop a valve into your cylinder. So now you've done that, now we've got to take the valve retainers off so we can get the valves out to replace the, uh, the stem seal. So what we do with this is get your spark plug socket with your magnet in it. See the magnet in there? Get your hammer your mallet, put your plug spanner over the top, but remember that magnet because if you don't have that in there you're going to give yourself a, a real headache and then basically you give it a clout on the top with your hammer and it will jog the retainers free. Your retainer comes, two retaining clips in there, and your spring comes off. Rope right, applies, stem seal, give it a wiggle, off the old seal. Bits of seal off anything that's broken off. Just a couple in there. New seal. Bought these on eBay about 10 quid, something like that, for a full set. That's supposed to be performance.
Pode ser meus. Tem. Só que. Deixa eu ver como. Now time to put your, your valve spring back on. For this we're going to use two cable ties and some grips. Get your cable ties, get a couple of them. And your valve spring. I'm going to feed the cable ties through the valve, uh, through, the, through the valve spring, and uh, and compress the spring with the the cable ties. Right, put two cable ties through the spring, not the bottom and the top, but just slightly on the first coil at the top, and then the uh, just a couple up from the bottom, and. Uh, Basically, hold it like that. Gets, uh, I'm using water pump pliers, set quite wide open. All you need to do is get hold of these in there, clamp it up, and just keep pulling your cable ties down and down and down until you compress the spring of the cable ties. Right, now we've compressed the spring. See the two cable ties, one either side, pulled down nice and tight. Put your uh, spring top back in, come back over, Just put that, that, give it a push down and you see plenty of room there to put the retainers on, get your two valve retainers So, right, then pull your valve up like that and make sure it all seats in nice and tight. See how they both look the same? Now we've done that. Get a pair of side cutters. Cut your cable tie on either side. Boom. Get your pair of pliers. Um, there we go, one new stem seal without any special tools, just some rope and some cable ties, a magnet, a spark plug spanner and a, a pair of pliers. Good luck.